Hello, and welcome back to Wall Street Training's Advanced Excel for Data Analysis course. We're going to take a slight twist on our gears now, and what we're going to do is take a little bit look at formatting. Here, we have a set of data presented in a nice little table, and what we want to do is automate the row shading so every other row automatically updates. Whether you increase, decrease, or subtract, or insert, get rid of rows, the table automatically updates to every other. That's what we're going to use in our conditional formatting, as well as we'll also look at how can we get not every other row, but every third, every fourth row, etc. As well as to also say, well, hey, if this number is greater than this number, select that entire row. You'll see what I mean. Take a look at your data. In this data here, I got a random set of data. This is our same information from our pivot tables, where we have that type of institution and the assets under management and allocation to alternatives. And what I want to do here is I want to shade every other row. How would you do that? Well, you know our macros already. Control Shift Y, Alt S, S, yellow fill, will automatically shade it. So here's what I would do. I would go to, let's say, A11, Control Shift right arrow, and I'll make it yellow. Control Shift Y. I'll go down to A13, Control Shift Y, you get the point. This is tedious, especially if you have a thousand entries. Here I only have 30 something or 25. Or, of course, what you can do is get a little smarter and say, well, I've done a couple. Let me now select some of those, Control C, and then Alt E S T for formats a couple of times. But this is long and tedious as well. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you, oh, by the way, if I decide to uh, remove this row, I now have to do re redo everything. Pain in the butt. So here's what we're going to do, and this is how you can see Excel truly working for you and trying to minimize the amount of labor you have to do. Automated row shading is conditional formatting. What I want to do is as follows. I want to select from A10, control shift down and right to G34, just like my data, do not select my column headers. And I want to hit Alt OD for overdose, uh, sorry, Alt OD for format, conditional formatting. And take a look at your dialog box. I'm going to give you a formula to write in here, and I want you to follow along. Condition one.